Well, good morning, everyone. We're getting a live look at the Gateway Arch this morning, all illuminated and looking so nice. You can also see the clouds a little bit in the background as well. Um, but hopefully you're waking up feeling, oh, what a great holiday I just had. Yeah. We're in the throes of the holiday season. Today is also the first day of Kwanzaa, so we've got a lot of... A lot of things to celebrate as yes. we head into the new year. But good morning. It is so great to see you on this Tuesday, December 26th. I'm Michelle Lee. And I'm Sydney Starworth. I'm in for Rennie Knott this morning. He has the week off. We want to say thanks to everybody for joining us, including those watching on 5 Plus. We're going to get you where you need to go. Paul Cook has you covered on the road. Absolutely. And we want to make sure you're dressed appropriately in the yeah. holiday season as you head out. Gary's got our forecast yeah. we covered. We started off in the 50s yesterday. We're not in the 50s now, and we're not going to be in the 50s for a while. So hopefully we enjoyed the, that warm weekend into Christmas. Didn't quite feel like it, but now we're going to be drying out a little bit here as we look outside. Uh, quieter conditions for today as we look at a different view of the arch from a further perspective down Market Street. It is still pretty nice overall. It is still warm and warmer than normal, but what we're going to continue to see over the next few hours is being in between that rain. Here's where the clearing is. We'll see more sunshine today and behind it we have some snow and I think for us that means rain and snow. But as we look down Market Street again, uh, temps in the upper 30s uh, expect temps even close to we're close to our average high already at this hour. That's the main difference is I hadn't got that cold. Um, and today I think we're going to continue to head for the mid 40s overall. That's what we'll track for you. I am talking about rain and snow for the next 36 to 48 hours, but not today, Paul. And I think that means it's probably pretty quiet on the roads. Absolutely. Volume, the amount of motorists out there lighter. So that's a bit of good news. And we're looking at traffic and what you're going to be seeing out there this morning. And we're going to take a look uh, right now. We were seeing uh, just a few. Wow, that merging is difficult, right? 44 at Grand. Even the uh, even the MoDOT person moved it around here a little bit. OK, so right now we're looking at the big map. We also have an incident, a report of a crash 44 near 109, but not bogging traffic down. We continue to look at the downtown maps and you're just moving very, very well. So you can leave on your normal timing this morning. Uh, earlier this morning, though, it was uh, pretty rough. Uh, two people in the hospital after uh, this car crash in Maryland Heights. It happened around one this morning on I-270 northbound near Page Avenue. You can kind of see here both vehicles are damaged. One was uh, rolling over. We're trying to learn more about the condition of the two people that were taken to the hospital, but you should know all lanes are open this morning. King news this morning in Madison County, Illinois. Two men were rushed to the hospital after being shot in Wood River. This is a look at where that shooting happened on 6th and Lorena around 3 o'clock this morning. Uh, Wood River police tell our crew on the scene that a domestic incident escalated into a shooting, sending two men to the hospital. One of the men is accused of assaulting a woman earlier in the night. So the other man um, shot was her father, but no word on the two men's conditions. Of course, we're going to let you know more as soon as we find out as well. Absolutely. We've been following that all morning. Also this morning, tragedy over the holiday weekend in North County. And this morning, police in the Ferguson Florissant area are investigating two separate shootings. Megan Kernan is joining us live in Ferguson with what we know so far about these uh, two investigations. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle and Sydney. Here at the Ferguson Police Department, they tell us that the latest shooting happened late last night on Christmas. Now, officers responded to a home at the corner of Laurette Avenue and Halpin in Ferguson just before 10 p.m. Investigators confirmed someone was shot in the head and taken to a hospital via ambulance. You can see from the video here shattered glass outside a door of, of the residence and an overturned chair. No word on the identity of the victim or a motive. Now this all happened hours after another shooting in North County, where police are still searching for a suspect. Three men were found shot on West Florissant in Florissant on Christmas Eve. One of them, 33 year old Kenneth Covington, later died from his injuries. Police say it started as an altercation inside of a business and continued in a parking lot escalating into a shooting. Now, both investigations from Christmas and Christmas Eve are ongoing and active. Live in Ferguson, Megan Kernan, five on your side. 
Thank you so much, Megan. Right now, new developments in the Israel-Hamas war. We've learned within the past three hours, the Israeli Minister of Strategic Affairs and a close advisor to the Prime Minister will meet with White House officials today. Now, over the past 24 hours, Israel continued its airstrikes that Palestinian officials say claimed hundreds of lives. The death toll in Gaza has surpassed 20,000 people since October 7th, when Hamas unleashed terror attacks against Israel. Well, overnight, President Joe Biden ordered the U.S. military to carry out airstrikes in Iraq. The strikes targeted three locations used by Hezbollah and affiliated groups, according to the White House. It was U.S. retaliation for an attack yesterday morning Hezbollah claimed responsibility for. So three American service members were hurt. One is in critical condition. Well, conditions outside are pretty quiet here as we look downtown. Overall, this is a different day than we had yesterday. We had yesterday's rain that we've obviously mentioned at great length. We're in the middle of things. You'll notice where we start to see that clearing in Arkansas. That's headed our way uh, as we start to see the sunrise here. We can already start to see some breaks in the clouds, but it's this system that's really slow moving. That's what I'm tracking for tomorrow. And Thursday, you'll see locally how it's already starting to clear out in Rolla. We'll see more of that by sunrise. Temperatures, though, still above freezing. Our average high is 42. We're already almost there at 6 o'clock this morning. And overall, I think we're headed for the mid-40s. We're going to kind of put a stall on that even with more sunshine. But temps are still milder today ahead of a change tomorrow. How that impacts your travel and if we'll see any accumulating snow ahead. All right. Thanks, Gary. Speaking of, the holiday travel rush picks back up. What you can expect if you have a flight to catch today. And a travel hack could come with some serious consequences. We're going to verify if skip lagging is actually worth the risk. Plus, holiday shopping returns. The rush starts in just a couple of hours. What you need to know about policy changes from your favorite stores. Before we go, happy Kwanzaa to everybody who's out there celebrating this morning. Today starts the seven day non-religious holiday that honors African-Americans ancestral roots. If you aren't familiar with what Kwanzaa is, every day the festival is dedicated to a specific principle and is marked by lighting a new candle on the Kinara. Kwanzaa was created in 1966 but became popular in the 80s and 90s. The celebration starts today and it's going to last until January 1st. Happy Kwanzaa. We'll be right back.